my colleagues here. Uh, Adam Sorrell's there. We've got the list in Asia. We've got Janelle. We've seen Brendan somewhere. Jimmy, uh, Raven, Joe. So if you do need any assistance, there's plenty of us here today to help you. On behalf of our vendors and the entire Barry plant will turn a team, I'd like to take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to any friends or family that are here, any neighbours, anyone that's come along just to spectate, and of course anyone that's here to buy today. Now if you are here to buy today, ladies and gentlemen, it's normally about this time, just before the auction starts, people start to get a little bit tense, maybe a little bit nervous. It's perfectly acceptable and understandable. My job, as the auctioneer, is to make sure that everyone here today is here to buy. It's a fair and equal chance to do so. Now the way that we're going to do that, we're going to follow a rather simple process. Firstly, we're going to review the contract, and then I'm going to talk about this fantastic opportunity. We're then going to open up for your spirited bidding and allow one lucky buyer to become the newest member to Harold Street and Regency Park. Now if you are that lucky person here today, ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of the auction, I'm simply going to ask you to come inside, sign an unconditional cash contract, pay a deposit of 10%, with flexible settlement terms, 30 to 60 would be the preference. Now, the section 32 in contracts, I know they've gone out during the campaign, I'm confident that everything you need to know has been fully encompassed in the paperwork. The, cha the channels included with today's sale is pretty standard, it'll be all fixtures, fittings, fixed floor coverings light fittings and window furnishings as expected here today and throughout the campaign. The title details are referred to as lot 89 on plan of subdivision 113228. The volume is 09154 and the folio number is 715. That's the land better known for you, me, and our friends at Australia Post, 1 Harold Street, Monturna. Fantastic piece of real estate measuring approximately 715 square metres. The vendor statement shows that rates will not exceed $4,000 to the City of Knox and the land is owned general residential. The big roads are declared to have no further interest in this land. Now as you would expect all your services, including gas, water, electricity, sewerage, telephones, it's all there ready and available for your connection. The auction today will be conducted in accordance with any rules and additional conditions that were made available prior to your inspection before the start of the auction. <laughs> the auction rules prohibit an auctioneer for accepting a bid or offers for a property after the property has been knocked down to a successful bidder. The vendors have a reserved price. As the auctioneer, I will pay bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids and prohibits major disruptions by bidders and prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this conduct. The rules permit vendor bids. The words I will use during the auction to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid. By law, only I as the auctioneer can make a vendor bid. That is the contracts, that are the rules, if there are any questions, we're here to help if we can. Very good. I appreciate the very keen to get things underway, as am I. But it would be remiss of me not to talk about this fantastic opportunity before we get things started. Number one, Harold Street. Been here in the family for 30 years. The time has now come for the next person to hopefully come and enjoy the next 20 or 30 years themselves. The home has had an update. You can see from the facade here, we've given a modern look. Inside most of the hardwood floors, four bedrooms, new carpets inside those, the two updated bathrooms. We've also got plenty of off street parking here. Four cars here and a great covered deck that we can see. But what's the best thing about this? Well, what I was thinking about it when I was looking at the home. You probably don't have to go on your neighbour's door and knock on the door if you run out of sugar. All you've got to do is cross the road and you're at Studfield Shops. Fantastic shopping over there. If you prefer to eat out rather than eat in, we've got the new Japanese restaurant that's open. Bistro 1947 if you're eating during the curries. We've got King Wong, Golden Pebble for your Chinese affair, and of course Straits Cafe with the Malaysian food, my personal favourite, the Sai Ho Fun. If that's not enough choice, just a simple walk down to Knox in the Ozone, and there's a whole other eateries down there. As we all know, Knox itself is undergoing a transformation. There's $450 million that's going to be pumped into that complex. That's going to have a great um, 
It's going to be great for the area, it's going to really help develop it and help improve everything. Eastleigh, well, we've got two options, Burwood Highway, High Street Road, turn right, take you to MCG and you'll be there in 30 minutes watching the Blues resurgence under Brendan Bolden. We'll turn right, head down to the peninsula and have a coffee and a ladder on the beach. But I know why most people are here today, why they're trying to buy in this area. It's the schools, ladies and gentlemen. Templeton Primary School, just here around the corner. You've also got St Luke's and Regency Park on your doorstep. And for the older children, we've got Montana College here on Harold Street. If the kids aren't quite there yet, we've got the kindergarten just on the corner here as well. That's why people are looking to buy in this area. There's a little bit of uncertainty at the moment in Europe. Real estate in Australia is still proven to be a great investment. Auction clearance rates at the moment are running around 70%. There's a lot of confidence still in the market. So if you have come here today to buy, ladies and gentlemen, bid loud, bid proud. It's a great opportunity, Arthur. And that's enough from me. I'm going to hand it over to you. Where can I see a fair and reasonable start for number one Harold Street here in Montana? In your hands from now on, ladies and gentlemen, I've had my say. It's time for you to have yours. At 700,000 now, welcome to the bidding. Wish you the best of luck. Always have a very soft spot for the first person to bid. At 700,000 now, I'm fairly big, fairly offered here in the middle. Where do we go from here, ladies and gentlemen? At 700,000 now, take a rise, it's there. At 700,000, 20 if you like. At 700,000 now, 720, can I say? At 700,000, 720, what do we say? Seven, 720 I have, simple not will do. 720, two of you in it, good luck to you today as well. At 720,000 now, two of in it. At 720, look at 740. At 720,000, 740 can I say? At 720,000 now, 40 if you like. Give you a bit of a time to think, 720 now, bid here on the left, genuine bid, 740 can I say? Bids now at 7.20, talked about the schools, we know the area. It wasn't that long ago we sold a house on uh, number 38 Herald Street, that sold for 950,000. At 7.20 represents great value, 7.40 can I say. First call then at 720,000. Second call at 720,000. For the third and final time, are we done? Finished. Silent. 720. <coughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to move things along. It is a cold day. I do have my thermals on, but I'll keep things moving. I'm going to place a bit on the half of the bend all now at 740. At 740,000 now, the bids are now. The bend all bid. Take another rise of 20 if it's there. At 740, 760, can I say? At 740 now, looking for a rise of 20. What do we say? Where do we go? 740 now. At 740,000. Indoor bid. Take a rise at 20. 740, 760, can I say? At 740,000. I'll pull it down three times. If you have come to buy today, now is the time to do so. At 740,000 for the first time. At 740. 740,000 for the second time. 740 for the third and final time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to explain to you what happens if it is passed in on a vendor bid. It means that everyone here today gets the opportunity to speak to the vendor on what normally happens. What happens normally at the end of that is we get two or three people come up to us and say they want to buy the home. Well, the best way to buy the home is now, here in the public. You can see your competition. Otherwise, we go in behind closed doors, take one buyer out of the end of the living room, one buyer will be in the kitchen, someone might be in the laundry. You don't want to be stuck in the laundry buying real estate, ladies and gentlemen. Better off doing it here in the open. At 740,000 now, pull it down again three times. First call, 740,000. Second call, 740,000. It's the third and final time. Are we done? Are we finished? Are we silent? Take the rise of finish the lights. 740 now. The third, the final time. We 
Dan finished silent, so I'm sure. You're sure? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I will formally pass the property in. If you do have interest, I suggest you speak to one of the agents that's still here. I wish everyone a great weekend. Thank you very much for attending the auction today. To say, if there's anyone that wants to speak to one of the agents, please feel free to do so.